Alistair and Robbie, today we're going to be working on the three times table and you're going to need to get some things together for this lesson. You need a piece of paper or card to write on which is big enough to get both your hands on it like this. So I'm going to use the inside of this pizza box. I'm going to cut the back off so I can get both my hands onto there. You're going to need something with which you can write. I'm going to use some felt tip pens and you will need some kind of number line. Now, I asked you to have a look for number lines last week. We were looking at things like measuring tape, like this. We were looking at different kinds of rulers. This is a favourite of mine, an old one of my dad's. Big foldy out ruler. For this though, I'm going to use this ruler. And the reason I'm using this one is because it's got nice clear numbers on it. It's got one set of numbers and they're nice and clear, so that's why I'm using this one. But you can get nice roll-out fabric number lines on a measuring tape if somebody at home has one of them for dressmaking. So if anyone has any kind of ruler or any other kind of number line in your house, see if you can get a shot of that. And once you've got those things together, we'll have a look at times tables, the three times table. So now I'm all set with my piece of paper or card. I've, I'm using this pizza box, as you can see. I've turned it inside out, I've cut the back off it, and it's giving me a nice big piece of card. And I'm going to draw it round my hands using one of my felt tip pens. Now the harder bit for me is drawing the right hand because I have to draw with my left hand and my left hand's not so good. There we go. Not exactly perfect, I've missed some tiny wee bits, I can fill them in. But you can see now we've got the tw the ten, twelve, we've got the ten different digits here. And we're going to give these each a number. We're starting on the left hand side. We normally read from left to right, so here we're going to read from left to right. And we're going to start off with the pinky of my left hand and we're going to number that number one. Then we're going to go into my ring finger and give that number two. Don't make them too big because we're going to add to this. Then we've got three, four, five on the thumb. Then we're going to have six on my right hand thumb, seven, eight, nine and ten. Give yourself a wee bit of space when you're writing these because we are going to add some more information around here later on. Now, times tables. We learn times tables. They're just ways of remembering some of the information we know about numbers. So last week you were doing skips along where you were skipping along three at a time and coming up with an answer then. And that basically is what your three times table is. It just depends on how many skips you do. So if we look at our number line, if we start at zero and do one skip along, one, two, three, it brings us to the number three. So if we do one times three, it gives us three. And we can write that number in on our one digit here. Our pinky, one times three is three. If we do two skips along, starting at zero and we do one, two skips along, we are now on, can you see it? Number six. So we can put a six here. And can you guess what we're doing next? We're going to do three skips along. So start on zero, one, two, three. Where are we now? On number nine okay what i want you to do is to finish this off 
and show me your three times table. So this is just a way of knowing it. Now I want you to keep this. That's one of the reasons I suggested using a piece of card because we're going to keep on using this. We're going to add more information and we're going to use this diagram of your three times table for several things. So we're going to be able to put your fingers over those numbers and use it for a wee game later on in the week. But at the moment, all I want you to do is draw around your hands, then number them, all these fingers and thumbs, and then you're going to put in your three times table.